Hey there, StarCraft fans. It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be the Swiss versus Bobby Roach. Here on Ancient Cistern, top right, it's going to be the Swiss from the Hyper One Clan. And the bottom left, it's going to be Bobby Roach from No Clan. But he's got a nice spinning logo of... What is that? Is it a Devourer? I don't know. I recognize it, but I'm not sure what Zerg unit that is supposed to be. All right, man. So this is a Patreon game because the Swiss supports me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for $10 a month, which means you can send me any replay once a month and I will cast it and put it on the channel. No questions asked. So he sent this to me and says that his kid does not want to watch this again. His kid is Baby Swiss. You might have seen him play with his dad on my channel in 2v2s. If that sounds like something you'd like to see, then let me know and I'll put a link to it in the description and you know, reply to you with the link. So this is a fake cannon rush because there's a gateway coming up on the other side of the map. Just, to, you know, just a little bit of a psychological warfare, maybe. Or maybe it's a proxy pylon for warping in zealots and stalkers. We will have to see. I am curious about the baby Swiss doesn't want to watch this again. So, oh, double gas. Barracks. Factory. Is this double gas, huh? Is this going to be a battle cruiser rush? A reactor coming up on s the barracks? Uh. Okay, okay. Maybe it's a lot of Reapers? <laughs> I have no idea. All right, so there's the factory coming up. And, okay, so a gateway at the proxy pylon location, cybernetics core coming in, and a warp gate should get started immediately after the cybernetics core finishes, and it does. All right, the Swiss. We've got a little bit of a double cheese here going. So one base versus one base. SCV checking. He should know that there's a pylon missing. Oh, maybe not. Because <laughs> the Swiss built an extra pylon. 24 supply out of 39 available. All right. Engineering Bay Block at 2 minutes and 21 seconds from Bobby Roach. And Shield Batteries here for the Swiss at his proxy location. So are these Hellions? It's got to be Hellions, right? Reactor Hellion, Reactor Hellion open here against Protoss. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing with this Reactor Hellion? Re reactor to Factory, Mr. Bobby Roach. Yeah, okay. Intriguing. Doesn't have enough money to make two Hellions immediately, but now he does. And pylon there. Okay, but what are you gonna... Okay, now he's making a Stalker. Building it. Warp Gate's not coming in. Are we Chrono Boosting this sucker? No. Not enough energy for Chrono Boost right now. So, fair. So, two Stalkers versus two Hellions. The Stalkers are gonna win that anyway, but especially with Shield Battery support, that's just not even fair. Can the... Can the Terran... Yeah, the Terran can see that. Oh, I love this. This poor Terran player, man. All right, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna build here? Two stalkers showed up. You have no Marines, no Marauders. All you oh, Widow Mines. Okay, I like a good Widow Mine play focus. Oh, that's a quick pause. Nice little poo-poo blockade out of my base. <laughs> what the heck, Bobby Roach? What are you doing, man? That's funny. Okay, well, okay, the Hellions are engaging. They should not be doing this. The SCVs are trying to repair, but they're just getting picked off by the Stalkers because they can shoot over the Supply Depots. This is pretty much just end of game, right? Like, we're just dead at this point. Uh, liberators, maybe. But again, these are Stalkers, dude. Widow Mine tries to come up. Uh, does manage to come up and does kill one of the Stalkers. Oh, the other one goes down to the second Widow Mine. Yeah! Bobby Roach looking good with this widow mine stuff but unfortunately they don't have an armory so they're not perma burrowed perma cloaked when they're burrowed but an armory is on the way oh only one widow mine remains building more widow mines eventually he'll be able to get through this wall the swiss will uh he's getting a second base over here because his natural base is engin engineering bay blocked he doesn't want to do anything about that exactly okay we're in go 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 just go just go in man because if you go in there, the liber you can get angles on the Liberator. All right. I don't know about these SCVs coming down the line. Into ugh, Shield battery healed up. Stalker's there. Bad. 
Bad idea, but sitting safe inside the circles of doom. Ooh, trying to bait. Look at this. Trying to bait a little bit. He's like, hey, come over here. Come into my circle of doom. Did he just... Did he lose? Oh, I don't... Okay. Can you actually heal? Ow. Mm, not through the damage of two liberators, but one you totally can. Widow mine. <laughs> Widow mine's got two kills and it's two stalkers, man. That's awesome. Ow. Ow. Okay. So stalkers are not having a great time with this whole thing. The Swiss, at least he's got a second base up. He's mining from it now, which is excellent. He's got additional gateways coming in. Does he have the resources to support that many gateways? I don't know. So Liberator decides not necessary anymore to be here. Ooh, supply blocked is Bobby Roach. Ah, uh, because the supply depot is dead and was getting rebuilt, and then it was canceled, and now it's getting rebuilt again. And, oh boy, Widow Mines. Gah. So the power of Widow Mine, ow, is really serious here. Seven Stalkers have died. I think all of them to Widow Mines except for one, which I think ended up dying to a Liberator. Maybe two have died to Liberators. I don't know. Uh, but just sentries warping in over here for the Swiss. Sure. This Liberator, though. Oh, gosh. The Swiss. Is he going to recognize the death of... Look at this. Being very careful, too. Not getting greedy going after every probe. But going after a bunch of them, sure. And then look at this. The Swiss is on the other side getting more Widow Mine death. Okay. Ah, well, he did pull the probes out. That's good. After losing four workers, not as bad as it could have been. The probes are going to come down to the th third base here or whatever it is. Second base. And it's hallucinated void rays. All right. Ooh. Hallucinated units trigger Widow Mines, right? So is that the trick here? He's trying to get Bobby Roach to GG out. He's like, aha, you don't have any answer to this, do ya? But he should recognize that they're not actually doing any damage to his buildings. Oh my gosh, the Widow Mines wandered in here. Oh, oh, oh I can see. Okay. I think I've now fully and completely... Oh, no, he's building turrets. He doesn't know these aren't real. Oh, man. Recognize that nothing is actually taking damage from these... Oh, he's bringing everything back home to deal with these Void Rays, isn't he? Which means this Stalker gets to come inside the house. It's only one of them, though. And he's dead to a Widow Mine. All right. So, Widow Mine's doing a lot of work today for our guy, Bobby Roach. The sentries were apparently used only for hallucination. Yep. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> 13 stalkers have died. I, yep, I can see why Baby Swiss never wants to watch this game again because his dad is losing so many stalkers to Widow Mines. It is honestly a little bit disturbing. Liberator kills an adept. What is this? Oh, no, I need to know what that was. Man, rewind goes too far sometimes. What was that? Blah, blah, blah. Yep, we know. Then the Liberator's set up here, and then something comes in here and dies. Oh, it's more hallucinated void rays. Yeah, sure. The Swiss is just kind of messing around here. Ow. So, turrets and widow mines, very good at killing hallucinations. Really good at killing real void rays, actually, too. So, that's nice. Zap, zap, zap. We're going to sentry zap, kill a liberator. Nice. Look at this. What the heck is going on here? Oh, oh another stalker dies to a widow mine. <laughs> ah, no. No, sentries, no. Bad. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Liberator is still here, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do in this game? I'm going to use it to plug Brave Noob World. If you're a silver or a bronze level player, send a replay to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description. With the title of Brave Noob World. He'll be very happy to get it. We've gotten zero Brave Noob World submissions over the last month. So, you know, if you're watching this... Oh my gosh, Hallucinated Probes? This is the weirdest game. This might be the weirdest game I've ever cast. I'm not even kidding. And I've cast so much StarCraft 2, it's not even funny. Okay, Force Fields. Uh, yes, Shield Battery healed up. Sentries are pretty good against Marines. Gosh, every time he warps in a stalker over here. This is a six kill widow mine. Oh gosh. Six kills! And I think all of them are stalkers. Maybe some of them are sentries. You know what you really need to build up over here is a cannon. A cannon would be incredibly useful. Oh, zealots are inside your house. That's not good. Why was your supply depot down? Ah! Stalkers are like, I'd like to have my second base now, please, and thank you. I think that, yep, they cleared out ye old. 
Liberator there inside the main base. Liberator is actually using defender mode in a defensive position. That's not something that happens all the time at all. But it defends these SCVs. Oh my gosh. Widow Mines, dude. Um, like, they trigger on warping in stuff. Build a cannon over here. Build a cannon over here. Get a robo. Make a single observer. That's all we're asking for here. A Twilight Council is... It's something. I don't know if it's something we want. Oh, boy. La, la, la. Widow Mine. So, Widow Mine drop. Except instead of dropping the Widow Mines, you're just walking into the Protoss base and burrowing in the mineral line that way. It's fine. It's totally casual. And the probes are not going to run away at all. So... Four kills, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ten probes have died. A liberator comes back in. No mining is going to happen at the main base for some time. More widow mines wandering into this base to shut it down. He knows about that. He doesn't know Your about this. He doesn't. Ah! He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the other base that the Swiss has. He's going to be very upset when he figures out there's a second base the Swiss has taken, and this isn't him winning the game. Because he's not. He's mining out over here in his main. The Swiss has taken a top left base, too. Yep. This might be the dumbest game of StarCraft I have. Maybe not ever cast. Because I've been casting StarCraft 2 since 2015. But, like... Um... It's pretty dumb. We're just going to leave it at that. Wow. So, 20 to 19 workers. Bobby Roach has a 32 to 7 army value lead right now. It's Liberators and it's Widow Mines. And every probe that the Swiss is making in his main base is getting killed by either the Liberator or a Widow Mine. And at this point, Liberator, I think, is going to kill it first. What happens if there's a Widow Mine shot that's going to hit something and then it dies? Oh my gosh, it's an Observer. Holy crap, the Swiss has brought detection with him. Where did he build a robo? Oh, it's over here. Okay, good. Good. Quick, stalkers. Get out of the circles of doom. Swing around. Swing around. Does he still not know about... He does. He knows about this now. Okay, okay. So he's like, ah, crap. I'm one basing it. My Protoss opponent has two bases. This is not looking good for me. I mean, he's yeah, he's mining out hardcore of his main base right now. He's got about 200 minerals left on like most four or five, four of those five patches. <laughs> Liberator heading up. Widow mine wandering about. This widow mine has some ideas. Can it actually? Oh my gosh! Ow! Widow mine, good unit, man. Better unit at lower leagues. Yeah, this Liberator just covering this ramp is. Absolutely having a field day with these stalkers. Look at this. Look at this liberator just mowing down stalkers as they try to come up this ramp. Alright, so it's now 10 to 7 workers because Adepts wandered in down here and started killing SCVs, which is fine, I guess. Now they're going to stand in the circle of doom and die. Yeah, baby Swiss is, uh... Your forces. I get it, dude. I understand your unwillingness to ever watch this game ever again because what is happening? Is the Swiss throwing here? He's down 39 to 9 army supply. He's got 4 probes remaining and 38 minerals. What he does have is a base. Top left ninja. However, Bobby Roach knows about this. However, Bobby Roach also has like no cash. So his ability to do much about it is not fantastic. Ooh, medivacs in production. All right. Yeah, this is why you have a couple cannons down here with your shield batteries, just for situations like this. Because, you know, Liberators can't do anything about those. But this is a smart move from Bobby Roach being like, ah, oh, yes. There's no cannons here, so let's cover this area. Use the Marines to clear everything else out here. Going to be just fine. And there we go. Liberator shows up. Where do the Swiss Stalkers go? I don't know. I guess they're right here for some reason. But they are not covering the remaining source of income that the Swiss has. But Bobby Roach doesn't have any cash either. I keep pointing this out. He's got one mineral patch remaining with 190 minerals on it. Period. He has no second base. He does have the Terran ability. 
Well, Widowmine goes down to lift off that command center and put it somewhere else. And pretend that's a base. I mean, not even pretend. It becomes a base at that point. It's nice. It's a nice advantage Terrans have. But a Swiss is at four, four probes. He's mining from his second base now. The old stalker observer trick has proven to be too good for these widow mines. We eventually got there. We eventually made it there at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't think you have to long distance mine anymore. Just lift the orbital, drop it down here. Your nine SCVs will thank you. You can drop some mules. That would be super cool on you too. 45 to 10 army supply. It is. Bobby Roach has so much of an army advantage. It's not even funny. Are you still? Okay. Well, we're willing to kill one liberator. Losing uh, two stalkers for it. Okay. Two liberators, two stalkers. The trades are kind of fair here, I guess. Marines engage. Oh, oh, oh. Walking into. Ow. Widow mine marine death zone. And that's a good game. Well played from the Swiss. Fun game, he says. Good game, says Bobby Roach. The Swiss smiles and taps out. <laughs> yep. It's either the dumbest game I've ever cast or like top five dumbest games I've ever cast. I just, I've got like 4,000 StarCraft 2 games I've cast, if not more, over the years. So it's hard for me to remember all of them, but this feeling of how dumb this game was, I don't know if I've. If I have specifically felt it before. <laughs> Holy cannoli. I, I, I'm just... I'm flabbergasted here by this game, the Swiss. I feel like you got observers out way too late. Your stalkers died unnecessarily to Widow Mine so much. Also, they never were given Blink. But also, the Terran player never got a single upgrade. Never got Advanced Ballistics. Never got Combat Shield or Stim. Never got uh, Drilling Claws, right? You never upgraded a single unit in any way. Oh, we've got a second command center here. Look at that. That's very cool stuff. <laughs> These window mines. Too much. Too effective. Way too effective to liberate her widow mine as an answer to this is absolutely hilarious. Oh, some, like a cannon down here would have just done wonders too. If you're going to proxy like this, sure, shield batteries, stalkers, great. Cannon. A couple cannons. Why not? Make more cannons. But, you know, spending his money pretty well. End of the game, he's got one supply. It's one observer. All of his probes are dead. He's got technically two bases, but... Well, three bases. His main still isn't... Uh, he's got a lot of resources left at the main, actually. Surprisingly, like thousands of minerals are still here. Bow. End of the game. 11,000 resources lost for the Swiss and 5,000 for Bobby Roach. That's some pretty cost-effective stuff with Widowmines and Liberators. 28 SCVs died. 46 probes died. Uh, 28 stalkers and 8 sentries who were initially used, again, to hallucinate void rays into the Terran base. Because that's, I mean, in conjunction with some kind of a frontal attack, I kind of like it, but I don't know if that's exactly what happened. I think the Swiss was just having fun more than anything else here. And you know what? StarCraft is about fun. Once StarCraft refuses to be fun for you in any way, you're probably playing it wrong. Like, you can be competitive and have fun with it, right? But I think this was just pure fun. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> But, uh, you know, much respect to the Swiss for sending in a loss. Always, always like it when people do that. So they know that well, the audience knows when they see us the Swiss game. It's not just going to be an automatic win. And yeah, baby Swiss, I get it. So that's going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II <laughs> Legacy of the Void. And whatever this game was, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.